Hi, my name is Justin Shelfon. I'm the engineering lead at Patch My PC. In today's video, I want to go over a change that we made today, July 23rd, 2018, in our catalog metadata. This will most likely be most noticeable if you're using SCUP to publish our updates and you aren't using something like our uh, publishing service that can automate the publishing or SCCM 1806 that allows you to publish our catalog directly in the console. So if you've been using SCUP for a while now using our catalog, what you know is that we have quite a few different vendors and products to organize our updates. Now, WSUS does have a limitation of only 100 unique vendors and products that you can import and publish into WSUS. So as we started to approach that limit, what we did is we started uh, adding any new updates into a single vendor named Patch My PC and a product named SCUP Updates. So you can see we actually have uh, quite a long list of active updates that are within this vendor as well. So now what we're doing in order to better support the upcoming integration in SECM 1806 and to ensure that you don't hit that limit if you were to use our catalog as well as other catalogs like HP, Dell, um, Lenovo, and in any other future catalogs that you might want to import, in this update, we're actually going to be migrating all updates into that single vendor for Patch My PC. So uh, the current view would be how it would look like initially. Now, what's going to happen here when you update the most recent catalog here? I'll go through that process. So I'll just uh, leave the default of the certificates. I'm not going to accept any here for time's sake and choose next. Now, like any other catalog update, any modified updates, is going to prompt you to overwrite those in SCUP. I'm going to go ahead and choose yes to all. So it's going to overwrite all the updates and give them the new vendor and product for the metadata. All right, so that import's completed. We can see that quite a few of the updates were overwritten because that metadata had changed. So now if we come back into our updates, what we can see here is if we go into 7-zip, you can now see that there's no updates in that vendor. It should be quite similar with all the other products. Now, if you have any old updates that were expired and removed from our catalog a long time ago, you might still have some expired updates in here and that shouldn't be a big deal. Now, if you wanted to, you could always remove these uh, additional vendors if you didn't wanna see those vendors in your SCUP console. Uh, since everything should now be under the Patch My PC and SCUP updates vendor, so we can see we went from about 300 and some to 631 updates. Uh, you, you could simply delete all these other vendors if you weren't worried about them and you wanted your console to be cleaner. So by doing this, it's going to ensure that if you're using other catalogs in addition to ours, we're only going to use one vendor and product within that 100 limit. So we think this is a good choice. We talked to the product group uh, for Config Manager. They also thought switching to a one vendor would be a good option to ensure that we don't hit any of those WSUS limitations. One other nice thing about this option is when you go into your software update point, after you publish a product, you have to come in here and enable each of those third party products. So instead of having uh, a list of about 85 different vendors and products that we had previously, you only need to enable this one time. And then if you were to publish any additional products that you didn't publish before, you would not have to go back into that software update point and to configure that because it would still be using the same vendor and product for the actual update. So the option in SCUP is definitely going to be the most noticeable for this because if, for example, you're using our publishing tool, we're still going to give you a nice tree view of all the products that we support. Even though we're still going to be publishing under a single vendor and product uh, to WSUS, we're able to give you a nice filter selection based on the products that we support uh, and the vendors for those products. So it's still going to give you a nice option to go come in and enable what you want for auto publishing to your WSUS site. Now with Config Manager with 1806 and what's coming out there, you're going to have the ability to come in, in here and publish our catalog uh, from the console. Now, since Config Manager doesn't support filtering of uh, catalogs, what we've done on the back end of our engineering side of things, we've given the ability where you can essentially append a product parameter to your catalog URL. So for example, if you only wanted to import Java updates, 
to uh, SCCM through the publishing feature of 1806 and newer, you can actually append uh, different product parameters to your URL when you add them into the SCCM console. So we have a full list, I'll include this in the video description, that describes all the different product and the values that you would need for different products that we support in our catalog. Now, this selective import will also work with SCUP. So I'll show you what that could look like. So what I'm going to do is close SCUP. And I'm just going to rename the SCUP database so we start fresh here. So if I come in here and reopen this, what should happen, and we should have a blank console because we just uh, will be recreating this database file here. So if you wanted to, we could actually come in here and let's say we want to add our catalog, but we only want to import the Java updates instead of the entire catalog. So within the blog post, it will also go over this process, but we could also use this parameter that we uh, can use for importing specific products. We can also use that in SCUP. So let's say we want to call this patch my PC, patch my PC Java catalog only copy that for the description, and then choose OK. Now if we come into our uh, import and choose that catalog, go ahead and approve the code signing certificate for us and import those updates. Now what you can see here is that we only imported 12 updates instead of the 600 and some that you would have got with the full catalog that you saw before. Now um, we can certainly see here that these are only the Java updates that are showing in your console. So instead of having around 600, we have a much smaller list. Now let's say we also wanted to add Adobe Reader DC. What we could do is come into SCUP. We could add a new catalog with the Adobe DC product. Just say patch my PC for the publisher and patch my PC Adobe Reader DC only. Go ahead and uh, do okay on that. And now if we come back in our import, we can go ahead and get those updates imported and accept the certificates. So this should only import the Adobe uh, Reader DC update. So we can see we only got nine. So they're also gonna show up in the single vendor that we switched to, but you can make it so that if you didn't wanna have all the products showing up in your SCUP metadata, you could just import by product if that would allow you to quickly filter more often and faster. Now we could certainly still do things like uh, search filters. So we can see we're searching for Java here. Um, so you certainly could search all the updates within this vendor if you wanted to quickly select some that you want to publish. So that should cover what I wanted to cover in this video. Now most of our customers at this point, they are switching over to either our publishing tool or they're uh, switching to the publishing tool subscription, which will also give access to the SCCM in console publishing feature. So we think that uh, this single product will have less of effect if you're using one of those two options because you wouldn't have to worry about coming in and selecting and sorting through all the metadata. The updates would just automatically publish based on the products that you enable within the tools. Uh, that's all I have for this video. I wanna thank you for watching.